Welcome to Pre-Wire Center and inside a absolutely stunning brand new 25th anniversary edition 2024 40cck Cedar Creek. Uh, our most popular park model traditionally every year uh, and they've just built on wonderful changes they made for 24 really lightening up the interior uh, making some structural changes by uh, adding composite floors to all the slide outs so offering kind of future years of insurance and protection there. And they've just done little touches that, uh, again, customer feedback have uh, suggested to them. And we'll take you through those now. As we come in the door, we're faced uh, with some wonderful storage here. So immediately to my left, as we come in, we're going to have some controls for things that we're going to be interested in turning on, like our air conditioning. Uh, so we're going to have a thermostat there. We also have the ability to open up some of our fans here. So we have two fans, one in the bathroom, one in the main sort of kitchen area. Uh, these are fans that are enabled uh, with a moisture sensor, so they will close themselves when they sense moisture, uh, but you can control them as well down here, so easy to get to. We are going to have a little closet as we come in, so a spot where we can keep a couple of coats. And then some of the main controls we may want right away, especially in spring or fall, uh, access to slide switches, um, checking on our tank levels, everything is going to be there. We've got our main light switches inside and out, kind of everything that you're going to use typically every day is centrally located here. And the nice thing is it's tucked behind some very residential cabinets with uh, wonderful residential cabinet touches to them. So beautiful handles. They've gone with more of a two-tone look to the cabinets, so light uh, countertops here. And as we get into some of the areas around the stove, you're going to have some contrasting countertops. I really, really like the, again, the two-tone look here. So again, just bringing some dimension to inside. We've got some great additional LED lighting across the top. You could just have this kind of nighttime uh, mood lighting there. Love the design here. So you've got great drawers here, just deep, deep pots and pan drawers. So Again, all plywood construction here, solid surface countertops, uh, so made to certainly be very durable. So you've got room to bring not only the daily dishes, but you've got room to bring, you know, all the, the dishes that you may not get to use at home all the time. And certainly if you're an entertainer up at the campground or in your own property, you're going to have the room to do that. This would be a wonderful area to have a little coffee bar set up in the morning. Uh, you could set up a little bar area as well. You've got a USB charging station here, place to plug in, maybe a mixer or it could be a, an extra ice maker there for the parties. As we get into the kitchen area here, we've got a multi-function island in the middle. So we do have USB as well as 120 volt at this end. We've got our flip up counter extension here they've added uh, last year. So beautiful solid piece of wood here and it serves multi-function so it could be an area again you can lay some food out if you're entertaining. It can also be a secondary eating area especially for kids um, but it's also a wonderful little desk area so a lot of people are using that as a bit of a, a desk so they don't have to have an extra table that's taking up some room and it doesn't have to be the dining table uh, but they've got a work area there where they can really tuck things uh, away. We've got the huge Furion double door double freezer design fridge here so lots of room to again keep Lots up at the campsite so you can entertain and not have to be always running to the grocery store. And again, tons of storage throughout the island, throughout the kitchen. Again, you've got those two tones of solid surface countertops here. So really nice design, a little something for everybody here. And uh, kind of the backsplash blends both those colors together. You've got plugs on both sides of your full size range. So we're going to have three burners on the top and then a full size range. You can certainly do Thanksgiving, have your turkey up there. Some wonderful glass inserts now in the center as well. Some great contrasting pieces. And then again, throughout the island, just a ton of storage. Beautiful stainless steel sort of farmhouse style sink. This high rise faucet here, a little drying rack as well. And then continuing on the hidden storage element that they brought in last year, which was the uh, pantry here behind uh, our entertainment center. Uh, they, again, they've been listening to the customers. Uh, they've asked for um, some more build outs here. So we've got a little spot built in for our remotes. Lovely little touch there. We're going to have behind the wall a lot more built in. So everything has had kind of a dedicated area here. One little piece I noticed that I thought was great. If you are somebody that may want to hook up a DVD, they've made it a lot simpler. You've got an HDMI here. Your DVD player can just simply sit inside there. And then again, you've got everything sort of cubbied off here. So this could be both a you know, storage for a home office a computer. There is a plug in back here so you can be charging things. Um, but you've got, again, lots of room for pantry items here. So this can be the primary pantry. And you still even have a couple hooks here where you can hang up some items, uh, maybe just an apron or something, keep you clean in the kitchen. If you're somebody who really enjoys to uh, cook some fancy meals, but just a ton of storage and just listening to clients. Uh, they love the design. Again, makes that kitchen uh, more useful, hides away and uses an area typically 
with uh, previous entertainment systems they've had in this area that weren't weren't great uses of space. So now we've got a really a full utilization of all the space that's available. And then we've got TV directly across from where you'd want it, right from our powered recliners. So our theater seat, so we can really enjoy that. We've got heat here as well with our built-in electric fireplace. Again, that lovely accent lighting across. So you could just have that on at night, enjoying a movie. We do have multiple ceiling fans here, so you don't always have to have the air conditioning on. But again, we do have two air conditioning units here. So we've got the primary unit here in the main living area, and you could alter to um, a unit in the bedroom should you wish at nighttime. So go between the two. So a wonderful kitchen area here that again extends in and you can imagine you've got great views outside onto your own deck kind of can be able to see what's happening in the campground and then the views just continue around here so just wonderful sight lines but you're still getting that fresh air through one thing that i love especially in the daytime again you may not want to have necessarily everybody being able to see in so you've got two options here you've got very high-end uh, roller shades you typically see in very high-end motorized units so you've got kind of a, night, a day shade and then you've also got a night shade when you do want that privacy so those are on all the windows all the way around so we've got a revision here of our seating area uh, so this is currently fixed to the ground but once it's on site it certainly could be moved around but i thought this was a great idea because these typically are used primarily by two people with the occasional guests so they've given you sort of a kind of a a bench seat that gives you some storage so still serves as seating for occasional guests but you've got great storage in here so again can be some extra bedding perhaps that uh, you would use on your pull-out couch we do have an extension here built in as well so this can come out a bit for you and two chairs here that can be moved around and you can decide where they go and then we still have room here where we can add a chair at the end should we wish we've got our powered recliners here so very simple controls on this side here very comfortable to be able to operate and then sit back again in the evening perhaps if you want to catch the news catch a movie after a hard day at the beach and you've got uh, again some cup holders there to to be able to enjoy love the fact they've continued the tradition of putting in a full queen size hide a bed traditional hide a bed like you may have had in a home in the past or currently have so this does give you that great secondary sleeping where again it's very useful space for you somebody can certainly lay out there have a great nap or watch a movie but when you have a guest, they have a dedicated bed in there at the complete opposite end of view. And your bathroom is between the two of you. So they have easy access to the bathroom when they need it, but they don't have to come into your bedroom. We do have a plug in here as well. So very handy if you did have a guest, they can plug in their devices or alarm clock if they need to be up early to uh, catch that first fish. Very well ducted throughout the coach here. So again, very efficient there. They worked on the efficiency of the AC system to, again, give you great delivery there. LED lights throughout. We've got multiple fixtures here with all kinds of different lighting so you can kind of choose what you want to have on at any given time as we head to the bathroom here again we're going to have that nice contrasting white and dark look and we've got some great accent lighting here along the floor as well which would be great, great night lights a wonderful shower stall here i love the texture in the back just kind of looks like a kind of a sand that you're walking on a sandbar or something here great little drain system too love the the new look very high ceilings here so again anybody who's taller is going to appreciate the fact that uh, Again, you've got multiple ways to take a shower here with a handheld unit as well as a fixed unit. You still have a skylight for light. Again, we do have another fan that's going to have the built-in rain sensor, so it'll close itself. You've already got some hooks on the wall here, some great storage for linens and towels. And even, again, a little vanity with medicine cabinet there as well. So you can keep all those items that you're naturally going to keep up there that you use every day, tucked away and out of sight. Great storage here in the bedroom as well. You do have that private entrance from the outside. So that's the nice thing if someone needs to retire a bit early and perhaps there's guests in the front. Again, you can just kind of slink away and you've got an easy entrance here, but you've got great sight lines in the morning. You do have your own TV back here as well. So again, if you're sharing and you've got guests, you've got a secondary spot to just uh, be able to get to. Great storage at the end of the bed, sort of his and her four drawers. So each get two and you've got great built-in storage here as well. So that's a great spot to maybe tuck away some watches, jewelry, things that you don't necessarily want left out, even your wallet, those kind of things. We've got anywhere we can, again, plugins, so we can charge devices, but just again, places to put shoes and sandals and anything else we want to roll up, perhaps some extra towels. We are set up here for washer and dryer, should you wish to have one in the future. Um, again, you can talk to us about adding those features if you wish. We can get into what has to be done here, but they've done most of the prep for us and we can kind of finish things off for you. You'll have the sliding glass doors here for further storage there, so lots of hanging storage. And then again, right up to the ceiling, we're using all that space here. 
and we've got storage all the way around including above the bed great little charging station maybe for an iPad in the middle there again there's a USB plug in there for you you've got USB on the little shelf above the bed both sides good spot for a CPAP machine and we do have an outlet on either side of the bed so if you both have one you are all set we do have an additional little cadet uh, space heater here built into the bedroom so you can just use that electric heat at night to most likely keep you warm without having to run a furnace all night. You can have a great storage underneath this king bed. So we've got some easy access storage just at the base of the bed for your shoes, but the whole platform will lift up so you can keep your extra bedding underneath there, extra pillows for guests, maybe the extra bedding for that uh, pull out hide a bed. Uh, so everything can have its place. You do have that ceiling fan in here as well, as well as a dedicated AC unit. So you can alter between the two or hopefully cool during the day with that AC and then just turn on your ceiling fan at night. And enjoy the quiet breezes but you do have the ability as well to open the lower portion of the window and have some cool breezes come in at night as well well they've done an absolutely stunning job for 2024 again giving you some contrasting colors here but also just building on what they did last year listening to their clients adding the little things in terms of better organization in some of the storage areas little tweaks that customers were asking for and again increase that ability to to store more uh, so that you can come up, enjoy your time in your campsite, and uh, leave everything up there when you're done. We'd invite you to come up to Primo RV Center to come have a closer look at this brand new 2024 40cck 25th anniversary Cedar Creek Cottage.